number two bill, 2014, is unanimously approved. One of the only legislative items government and opposition seem to be able to agree on these days. All 36 members of the lower house present in the chamber voting in favor of a bill to strengthen money laundering and anti-terrorism laws. But not before opposition MP Colin Imbert could bust a mark, as he put it. He spoke of an illegally occupied parcel of state land in Vega de Oro Pooch. One that, according to a property ordinance he produced, was audaciously bequeathed to an alleged criminal whose name was at the center of the life sports scandal. In consideration of the natural love and affection which I have and bear towards Hassan Ali, you know that name? <laughs> a criminal is transferring state land to a Another criminal, which the Minister of National Security has said is involved in most of the murders in Maloney and La Hoqueta. The Ministry of Energy knows that the gentleman from Carapo has made, has fabricated a false deed and has acquired state land in his name and is illegally mining material and selling it to the Point 14 Highway. The Minister of Finance described the revelations as sound and fury and ultimately speculation. Nonetheless, he insisted the authorities are trying to clamp down on illegal quarrying. We have something like 31 names here who are currently before the courts. We have to leave it to the courts. The executive has to leave it up to the courts in order to, to make some of the decisions. The opposition chided government for postponing the budget debate to pass this bill. Minister Hawaii said the haste was to get TNT compliant before a review by the Caribbean Financial Action Task Force in January. Fane Richards, TV6 News.